Thank you for tuning in to Faith in Jesus Ministries. My name is Mike Barclay, the Preacher Man. Well, I got a good message for you today for you on YouTube and Facebook and the internet and all my parishioners. Man, I got a good message for you today and something funny too. We'll start with the funny. I said, I'm a Christian, but when you're celebrating your religion, let me know. I'm coming to celebrate with you. Done it. Christian friends, Baha'i friends, Jewish friends, Muslim friends. A Jewish friend actually invited me over to Shabbat dinner one time. Gave me a matzo ball. I ate it. It was delicious. Yeah, gave me a yarmulke. I put it on. It was cool. As I put on that yarmulke, I started coming up with business ideas. Is that supposed to happen? My IQ increased by 20 points. My account doubled. It was great. I saw my put out a magazine called Jihad Magazine. What kind of articles are in that? 50 ways to lose weight. Oh, blow yourself up. Iran's talking shit to America. Why would you talk shit to America? Iran, they recently bombed your neighbors. America's bombed Iraq and Afghanistan. Iran is in the middle. It's a good time to be quiet. Being in a nightclub with your friends, and then the bouncer knocked out your friend, and you're still talking shit. I'll tell you why Iran is talking shit. There's no AC over there, and there's a lot of opium use in Iran. Yes, the politicians are high. Getting high, they going, you know what we should do? Let's call America. Give me the phone, give me the phone, give me the phone. Let me call. Hello, America? Fuck you. They hang up and they go, hey guys, you got a military? We don't. America, just kidding. You could never be making fun of the president of Iran in Iran. It would be like, hey brother Mike, when's your next show? There are no more shows. The ministry of no show showed up. Next show will be in prison and I'll be identified as this. I started thinking about how many times I lost it. And I started thinking about uh, Martin Luther King. Did he ever lose it? Or Gandhi, did he ever lose it? Did he ever say, okay, the loin cloth is coming off? Tony Sandals where I kick his ass. Oh my god, I can't fight. I had two grains of rice today. There's haters of all kinds. Haters of black, white, yellow, red, Muslim. There's haters of all kind out there. What we gotta do is stop hating and start loving everybody. Just love everybody. I'm a big lover of the Middle East, but I have a confession to make. Alarmed as anyone as a sight of Arabs at the airport. It's the feeling I finally said what everybody's thinking. I seen two guys in the lounge, two Arab guys in the lounge, one eyebrow between the both of them. Old chains connected to black briefcases, scouring the lounge, looking. I check everybody else out, and they're all looking at me. What are you looking at me for? Look at them, and we're gonna die. Two Arabs uh, in uniform. Look at that. What's that all about? Oh, they're the pilots, sir. People come up to me and say, you got the time? I said, do I look like a terrorist? Very paranoid time for me. Let's get into our word right now. That's all funny and everything, but let's get into our word. Say, I am. What follows these two words? will determine what kind of life you have. I'm blessed, I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy. I'm slow, I'm unattractive, I'm a terrible father. I am that come out of your mouth will bring you success or failure. All through the day, the power of I am is at work. Make a mistake, I am so clumsy. In the mirror, I'm so old, I'm so fat. See somebody very talented and you say, I'm so average. Get caught in traffic, I am so unlucky. Many times we use the power of I am against us. Don't realize how it's affecting our future. The principle, what follows the I am will always come looking for you. You say, I am so clumsy, clumsiness comes looking for you. So old, wrinkles come looking for you. So overweight, calories come looking for you. It's like you're inviting them. Whatever you follow the I am with, you're handing it an invitation. Opening the door, giving it permission to be in your life. The good news is you get to choose what follows the I am. You go through the day saying, I am blessed, blessings come looking for you. I'm talented, talent comes looking for you. You may not feel up to par, but whenever you say, I'm healthy, health starts following your way. I'm strong. Strength starts tracking you down. That's why you have to be careful what follows the I am. Never say, I am so unlucky. I never get any good break. Inviting disappointments. I'm so broke. I am so in debt. You're inviting debt and brokenness. Inviting struggle. You're inviting lack. In the morning, invite good things into your life. I'm blessed. I am strong. I am talented. I am healed. I am rich. I'm disciplined. I'm focused and prosperous. You talk like that, talent gets summoned by Almighty God. All strength, discipline, abundance starts heading your way. When you get up in the morning, don't talk about how old you are, how bad you look. Get up and say, I am young. I'm young. I'm energetic. I'm vibrant. I'm radiant. I am fresh. You women have never said, I am beautiful. You're so focused on your flaws. You wish you had more here and less there. Say, I am beautiful. Beauty comes looking for you. Don't go around telling your husbands how unattractive you are. Never put yourself down, especially don't put yourself down in front of your old husband. You are his prize. To him, you're the most beautiful woman in the world. Why would you want to tell him anything differently? Tell him how bad you look. One day he may believe you. 
say I am beautiful, not only freshness, beauty, and all that starts coming your way. Inside, your spirit person comes alive. Your image starts to improve. You'll start carrying yourself like someone special. You made Brother Mike that threw away the mold. Brother Mike, I'm just average. I'm just one of the billions of people on the earth. Wrong I am can keep you from rising higher. It happen if we build the old like David and say, I am amazing. The amazing Brother Mike. I am wonderful. I am valuable. I am a masterpiece. I'm a child of the Most High God. Talk like that and amazing comes chasing you down. and starts heading in your direction. You won't have that weak, defeated mentality. You'll carry yourself like a king, like a queen. In pride, but with a quiet confidence. Knowing you've been handpicked by the creator of the universe to preach. The mic has something amazing to offer this world. The mic is handpicked by Almighty God. I'm valuable. I'm a masterpiece. You get up in the morning, look in the mirror, and dare to say, I am beautiful young. I am vibrant. I am confident. I am secure. You're telling yourself you're all washed up. I'm royalty. I am crowned with favor. I have royal blood going through my veins. I'm excited about my future. Learn. You gotta change on the inside before you'll see change on the outside. Don't talk about the way you are. Talk about the way you want to be. Like Jesus. Brother Mike wants to be like Jesus. When you see Brother Mike, you see Jesus. When you hear Brother Mike, you hear Jesus. Faith, you gotta say, I am blessed. I am successful. I'm surrounded by God's favor. So that's this little brother that came to church. You know, how are you doing in high school? He says, oh, I'm doing okay. I'm just a C student. And to find out, one of his teachers years ago told him he was a C student. He let that C take root. Well, then what I'm telling you, as long as you say you're a C student, that's all you'll ever be is a C student. Falling in the C's and your C's will come find you wherever you go. Change the I am to I am an A student. You have allowed what someone said about you to hold you back. Coach, a teacher, a parent, an ex-spouse, and these negative C's of what you cannot do. You're not smart enough. You're not talented enough. You're not good looking enough. Disciplined enough. You're not attractive enough. You'll always make C's. You'll always be mediocre. You'll always struggle with your weight. Get rid of those lies. You're not who you are. You are who God says you are. People may have tried to push you down, tell you what you can't become. Let that go in one ear and out the other ear because what somebody said about you doesn't determine your destiny. God does. You need to not only know who you are, but know what you're not. I am not what who people say I am. I am who God says I am. I'm not the tail, I'm the head. I'm not a borrower, I'm a lender. I'm a giver. I'm not cursed, I am blessed. I'm anointed, I am wise, I am a masterpiece. Book of Moses, Moses, uh, in the book of Numbers, Moses sent 12 spies into the promised land. After 20 days, 10 of them came back and says, Moses, we don't have a chance. People are huge, they're giant. Compared to them, we felt like we were grasshoppers. They're I am's. I am weak, I am inferior, I am little. Intimidated, I'm afraid. Captain Fear, intimidation, inferiority came knocking at the door. Two spies, Joshua and Caleb, came back with a different report. Yes, Moses, the people are big, but our God is much bigger. Let's go in. We are well able to take the land. There I am with just the opposite. I'm strong. I am equipped. I am confident. I am victorious. I'm more than a conqueror. It's interesting. The negative report from the ten spies spread like wildfire through the rest of the camp. For long, some two, two million people were intimidated and afraid. Not even pay attention to Joshua and Caleb, the report of faith. Here's what I learned. A negative report always spreads faster than a positive report. People are murmuring in defeat. Make sure you don't let the wrong I am take root. Ten spies went on to say, Moses, why'd you even bring us out here? Die in the wilderness. Children and our wives are going to be taking this plunder. In Numbers 14, 28, he says, I will do for you exactly what you have said. You're going to die in the wilderness, so you will die in the wilderness. God's saying to us, well, I'm going to do exactly what you've been saying. Say I'm weak, I'm intimidated, I'm inferior. The wrong I am can keep you from your destiny. Scripture, have you ever heard of a man named Sether, a man named Gaddy, a man named Shaphat? Heard of them because they were some of the ten spies, some of the ones that never made it into the promised land. See, as they were called to be a history maker, seeds of greatness on the inside, just like Brother Mike. Wrong I am kept them from really making their mark. Let that be you. You may be facing some major obstacles, challenges, be it Joshua, Caleb. I am strong. I am victorious. I'm confident. I'm equipped. I'm more than a conqueror. Brother Mike's more than a conqueror. Make sure you have the right I am. Joshua and Caleb were the only ones from that whole group to ever make it into the promised land. It's also good to make a list of a dozen or two of these I am. Over them all through the day. Put them down in your spirit. Meditate on them. They may not all be true right now. You have to 
call the things that are not as they already were. Mike is blessed, brother Mike is prosperous, brother Mike is healthy, brother Mike is wealthy. Brother Mike's free, brother Mike's talented, brother Mike's young, brother Mike's beautiful. Remember what follows the I am, I am attractive, I am beautiful, I'm a masterpiece. Whatever follows the I am is going to come looking for you. Invite the right things into your life. Fear of the universe will breathe in your direction. If you'd like to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, just say with me this simple prayer. Jesus, I repent of my sins, come into my heart, I make you my Lord and Savior. If you said that simple prayer with us, we like to believe you got saved. Get into a good Bible preaching church. Put God first place in your life. He'll take you places you never dreamed. Stay tuned for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and show you His kindness, His love, His mercy, His happiness, and His joy. May He crown your head with the crown of favor. May He open the windows of heaven and pour blessings upon your life you have no room to receive. In Jesus' name. We thank you for your faithful financial support at Faith in Jesus Ministries, helping us preach the gospel around the world in Jesus' name. we just like to thank you for your tithes, gifts, and your offerings. we just like to bless you. Your tithes, gifts, and offerings are much appreciated at Faith in Jesus Ministry. And we figured out YouTube. It costs about a dollar per viewer to get people saved. So if you send me $10, I'll get 10 people saved, and you'll have mansions and treasures in heaven. If you send me $20, I'll get 20 people saved, and you'll have double the mansions and treasures in heaven. If you send me $1,000, I'll get all your family and friends into heaven in Jesus' name. And the Lord told me 120 of you were going to donate $1,000 to Faith in Jesus Ministries. So we like to bless the gift and bless the giver 30, 60, 100 fold, and 1,000 times return for blessing Faith in Jesus Ministries with seed money in Jesus' name. We like to pray for you right now to get the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Just receive the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. And we're debt-free, so we like to send you the DVD of the month. It's my most famous, fabulous sermon, my most popular sermon, sent to you on the DVD for any dollar amount to Faith in Jesus Ministries. Or you can spend $90, donate $90, and get all my 10 DVD collection of all 200 Mike's brother, uh, 200 brother Mike's sermons in Jesus name to bless your heart that's like 50 cents a sermon that's worth it you know it and you know can I talk to you for a minute can I get a dollar out of you are you so stingy you can't afford a dollar to me to preach the gospel in Jesus name now come on now we like you to share and uh, like our videos and subscribe to our channel to get some good Holy Spirit filled preaching in, in Jesus name May the Lord bless you with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.